The uracus is the remnant of allantoic stalk arising in the foetus. It is five to six centimetres long and extends from the umbilicus to the dome of the bladder. At the centre of this picture is a remnant of the uracal tract in the bladder wall. There are a number of different types of uracal tumour. There may be cysts lined by urothelial, cuboidal or columnar epithelium. Other uracal tumours include villus adenomas, adenocarcinomas, transitional cell carcinomas and squamous cell carcinomas. Adenocarcinomas are the most common type of malignant uracal tumour. This is a picture of a uracal cyst arising in the bladder and it is lined by urothelium. And this is a high power view of the epithelium. And this is another uracal cyst but this time it is lined by columnar mucus producing epithelial cells. This uracal tumour is a villus adenoma, and this is identical to the type of villus adenoma you'd see typically in the colon. Uracal adenocarcinomas usually occur at the dome or posterior wall of the bladder. They occur in the fifth to sixth decades, and they usually involve the muscularis propria. The urothelium may be normal. And this, of course, is a useful diagnostic feature to differentiate a uracal adenocarcinoma from a urothelial carcinoma showing glandular differentiation. This picture shows a uracal carcinoma arising in the dome of the bladder. The entire uracal tract has been resected that extends from the umbilicus to the bladder. Subtypes of uracal adenocarcinoma include enteric, mucinous, goblet cell, mixed and not otherwise specified. This is the histological appearance of an enteric type of uracal adenocarcinoma that has arisen in the bladder. The urothelium is normal and this contrasts sharply with the adjacent uracal adenocarcinoma. This indicates that the tumour is not a locally arising urothelial carcinoma showing glandular differentiation. Yeah.